assalamu alaikum friends welcome to my youtube channel uh, in this channel i am going to discuss with you mcqs in detail if you like my channel please subscribe it and click the bell icon for more updates now mcqs first mcqs the standard of conventional cytogenetic analysis for human chromosomes there are five options uh, fluorescence in cytoherbidization gamma banding m banding DNA microarray, quantitative fluorescence polymerase chain reaction. Now, what is conventional cytogenetic analysis? It is used to analyze chromosomes microscopically. Cells from blood, placenta, amniotic fluid, tumors, and other tissues are taken. Uh, they are cultured, arrested at metaphase, and lysed. The specific bending agent mostly gamma bending. Uh, agents added but other agents like reverse bending quinacrine bending centromeric bending also used uh, after after reading this slide we know that the correct answer of the question is gamma bending uh, now we should know what is uh, fluorescence in cytoherbidization it is performed on interface chromosomes used to locate and detect lo specific DNA sequence on chromosome. It used fluorescent probes used to detect aneuploidies, microdeletions, translocations, trisomies and also to detect and cancers and infectious diseases. I will discuss with you aneuploidy, microdeletions, translocation, trisomies in next lecture. What is Gamza banding? It is commonly used in cytogenetic analysis of chromosomes. Giving bending appearance to the chromosomes helps to identify structural anomalies. M bending it is highly resolution chromosome bending a technique that finds cryptic chromosomal rearrangements such as inversion, translocation, deletions, or duplication at chromosomes level. DNA microarray uh, it is Compare DNA of test subject to that of the control person. The technique used this a prepared chip which comprises many hundreds of different wells. Each well contains DNA probe which corresponds to the region of the genome. Test and reference DNAs are lab labeled with different color fluorophores, conventionally green and red respectively. I remembered it that uh, test DNA is uh, ass uh, is ass uh, assigned green and the reference DNA assigned red color. Uh, re reference starts from R and red also starts from R. If there is equal amount of complementary DNA in test and reference sample, well will emit yellow signals. But if there is more complementary DNA in test sample than the reference sample, then well will emit green signals which indicate that there is area of duplication at the corresponding genomic locus in the test subject. And if there is more complementary DNA in reference sample than the test sample, then Bell will emit red red signals, which indicate that there is area of deletion at the corresponding genomic locus in the test subject. Quantitative fluorescence polymerase chain reaction it is amplification done with fluorescent primers. It is mainly used to detect aneuploidies, mainly trisomies 13, 18 and 21. 